And here she is, ladies and gentlemen, your Miss Ohio 2006 contestant number 10, Melanie Murphy. Hey, what was that? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Looking, shaking, and oh, all that right. kind of thing. It's been years since I've done that. It was Melanie Murphy oh. then, right? No Miller, right? That's right. It wasn't married yet. You're right. Well, anyway, it is so good to uh, see you. you Skip too. all of the formalities. What's I know, been yeah, what's going the on? What's up? <laughs> yeah, what you would do when you just sit there? Right just come right to it. Come on, just, just drop it. I'm so glad to be here. I miss you guys so much. We so miss good you to too. see you guys. Yeah. Um, but what have I been up to? Well, I'm still still working at the Salvation Army as okay. the right. ministries coordinator at the Croc Center. At the right. Croc Center, and okay. so keeping busy with that, and um, it's really really been such a blessing to work there. Um, our young people, you know, you really can learn so much from them. Um, and then, of course, still working at the television station okay, at yes. the CW, mm -hmm. working still with Better Cleveland, Better Cleveland and still okay. doing PSAs and doing any kind of on-air um, things that the station may need and um, Matt and I are doing very well. You're probably wondering what's Matt up to. Yes, so we're what doing very is well. Mr. Uh, we, uh, I think the last to. time I saw you, we just mo moved into our new house. Okay, right. Yeah. So, so that's going very well. Mm -hmm. And um, he's still obviously continuing with his uh, political aspirations. Right. So mm -hmm. most definitely. We're just going to stay tuned to see what God has in store next. So okay. we're really excited. So now here's you know, Stephanie. Uh, the, the word on the street is there's uh -huh. some big special news. Now, I don't know. I can, I can start to speculate a bunch of things since Matt is not here right now. And, you know, you all been married for a couple okay. years. I'm wondering if I need to do that. I need to call Grandma to make the papikage. We need to have a big celebration. I what is the special it. news that we need to hear about from Miss Melanie? Well, I'm going to put the rumor... Uh Let's just say, well, I'm not pregnant. That's probably what I was oh, asking. That's <laughs> what I was thinking. Are you guys expecting? That's what we've been, everyone, it's probably about that time now, you know, to have kids. But, well, of course, we want children, but we're not, we're not expecting yet. Oh, uh, I just lost so the I know whole that's what pool. you were hoping for. <laughs> Do you but, I had a pool in the back. I was supposed to win that. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Calm Sorry. down, you know. How it's been a couple of months, maybe. <laughs> I'll huh? tell you that's later. right. We'll see, but... But the big, the big news is, I have decided, I still have got that competitive spirit inside of me, so I think I am going to continue my dream for pageants and what? go for Mrs. Ohio. Mrs. Ohio. Really? So I think I'm going to go for that. So yeah. there is a Mrs. There Ohio is. pageant and... It yes, has it contestants from all across the country, too, just like the from Miss Ohio, America yep. pageant. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yep. So it first okay. started Ohio. It's in Columbus. It's oh, the first okay. weekend. So you get to wear one of these first beautiful weekend. gowns again. And do, <laughs> you get to do like this again, all over again. That's right. So I've really <laughs> got to work. <laughs> so that's my New Year's resolution, to get myself back into shape. Now, you're Look, that's great. one of the now, reasons I really wanted to now, do this. Now, does Mrs. Ohio have to do like one of those dance routines like you did earlier? No dance routines. No. There's no <laughs> talent. But basically, the same competition like Miss America. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. What it's, what it's, I don't know. Basically, the same competition, but there's no talent. Wow. So it's um. I just think you know what? I I just I'm up for the challenge again. And real quick, how did you get involved in this whole thing? What made you decide to do it? Actually, I mean, besides you know, your competitive spirit, as you mentioned. You know what? I've always wanted to do it, even before I gave up my title. I even had told Matt, you know what? I think I should go for it, and just had talked myself out of it for the last three years. And um, this year, Matt said, you know what? Just quit. Quit putting it off on the side. Just go for it. You know, now, you don't look, regret it if you don't. So. Now, right. look, here, coming okay. up a little later in the show, you're going to be talking to Cynthia and Rosemary about a special yes, project. Something exactly. very special. This Yellow Rose documentary. Yes, right. So mm -hmm. give us a quick tease as we go into our commercial. When I was seven years old, I started getting raped every day from seven all the way up until I was 13 years old. Um, I, I, didn't, I didn't know what to do. I didn't really have anybody who listened to me. When I was 14, I was raped by um, a close friend, and that, that devastated me, you know? That really changed the way that I viewed myself, and that really um, dug deep into me. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh -huh.
If you are a young lady or you're a parent of um, adolescent teens, you want to make sure you really um, stay tuned and listen to these upcoming interviews. There is an awesome documentary about young girls. Um, they are actually talking about some of the pressures that they face in today's society and sharing their personal stories in their hearts, so you don't want to miss it. Okay. Well, look, we're going to go to a quick commercial break, and when we come back, Cynthia and Rosemary will talk to Melanie and some other people who are involved mm -hmm. with the Yellow Rose documentary. Cool. Don't want to miss it. Stay with us. We'll be right back.